you wish and it will be given to you. Praise the Lord. the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ with the fellowship of father saver khan who is the founder of anointed fire catholic ministries i welcome all of you into this episode of thunder of god praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah let us invoke the presence of holy spirit in this session Let us sing a song and worship Holy Spirit. powerful in the session of our blessed Lord Mary. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
today we are going to see the importance of conveying the good news praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah let us take a bible passage my dear brothers and sisters we have bible please take it and open it second kings chapter 6 verse 24 onwards let us read some time later king benadad of aram mustered his entire army he marched against samaria and laid siege to it as the siege continued famine in samaria became so great that a donkey's head was sold for 8 shekels of silver and 1/4 of a cab of doves dung for 5 shekels of silver praise the lord praise the lord say hallelujah hallelujah you know as you know in the old testament we see one country marching against another country the other will cross the ford and stay inside it is a contest here then what will happen the opposing country who came to attack will surround it or siege it then what will be the result all the business activities will be blocked by preventing going out or coming into the uh, the fort then you see there will be great famine in the fort it is the context there the food items become very costly here we see syria attack samaria there was a great famine in samaria it is the context there we have already read that a donkey's head was sold for 80 shekels of silver praise the lord praise, praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah you see to understand the severity of that famine we have to read the following yes verse 26 onwards let us read now as the king of israel was walking on the city wall a woman cried out to him help my lord king he said no let the lord help you how can i help you from the threshing floor or from the wine press but the king asked her what is your complaint she answered this woman said to me give up your son we will eat him today and we will eat my son tomorrow so we cooked my son and ate him the next day i said to her give up your son and we will eat him but she was hidden she heard the words of the woman he tore his clothes now since he was walking on the city wall people could see that he had sackcloth on his body underneath yeah that's it my dear brothers and sisters this is the severity of the famine they kill their own children and start to eat that much severity praise the lord praise, praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in this is the context in this context we are going to see four lepers were sitting at the entrance of the city gate and we are going to see the solely loki in this context the solely loki of that four lepers second kings chapter 7 verse 3 onwards yeah let us read now there were four leprous men outside the city gate who said to one another why should we sit here until we die if we say let us enter the city the famine is in the city and we shall die there but if we sit here we shall also die Therefore let us desert to the Armenian camp if they spare our lives we shall live and if they kill us we shall but die Yeah praise the Lord Praise, praise the Lord say, Hallelujah Hallelujah They are speaking together What is that They are saying even if we sin at the city gate there's no room for doubt we will die because there is no food here If we enter into the fort what will happen they may eat up due to the famine due to the starvation then if we go to the aramean camp that means the syrian camp sometimes they may save our lives otherwise they will kill us praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah 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 even though they were lepers they had a unity in their community so they unanimously took a decision and a decision to go to the syrian camp praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord my dear brothers and sisters Here we are going to see a total turn around that we are, we can read from uh, verse 5 on words verse 5 on words yeah So there rose a twilight to go to the Armenian camp but when they came to the edge of the Armenian camp there was no one there at all for the Lord had caused the Armenian army to hear the sound of chariots and of horses 
the sound of a great army, so that they said to one another, King of Israel has hired the kings of the Hittites and the king of Egypt to fight against us. So they fled away in the twilight and abandoned their tents, their horses, and their donkeys, leaving the camp just as it was and fled for their lives. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God saw that the four lepers were going to the tent and God went ahead of them and caused a sound of battle. Then what happened? Then Syrian's army, they thought that the Israelites informed other countries and they came to fight against them. What they did, they ran for life, leaving behind everything. Without taking anything, they ran for life. As you know, when a country comes for a battle, they carry whatever needed, like food, clothing, etc. And uh, without taking anything, they ran for life. To that place of prosperity, these four lepers entered. Then, what did they do? We can, do, we, we can continue reading. Verse 8 on verse. Yeah. When these leprous men had come to the edge of the camp, they went into the tent, ate and drank, carried off silver, gold and clothing, and went and hid them. When they came back, entered another tent, carried off things from it, and went and hid them. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As they were starving for a long time, they ate whatever they could, and drank full, and it took all the possible things. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then also the things were remaining there and they decided to take each tent for themselves. And they began to accumulate. At that moment, my dear brothers and sisters, he said, here, here there is a total tenor. At that moment, they came into a realization that we can read from verse 9 onwards. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 9. Yeah, let us read. Then they said to one another, What are we doing? What we're doing is wrong. This is a day of good news. If we are silent and wait until the morning light, we will be found guilty. Therefore, let us go and tell the king's household. Yeah, my dear brother says, What is the meaning of this? You see, when God sent these four lepers to the tent, God had a dream and hope. What was God's dream and hope? God doesn't mind their overeating or over drinking, but they should have a remembrance of their fellow being. They were in famine, they were in starvation. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They even began to cook and to eat their own children, which were the situation there. And during that time, the lepers were enjoyed in the care. Actually, God expected the lepers inform the king and his fellow beings that the enemy is fled away. That was the dream and hope of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Instead of that, what they did? They, they filled their own stomach. And what will happen then? You see, God will choose another person instead of lepers and God will convey this Good news to the king and his, his and king and his household. Then what shall the king do? The king will summon all the people and go to the Syrian camp to plunder. When the king reached there, he will see a scene. That is, four of his own men were enjoying in the camp. Then what shall the king do? He will cut off them. And after that only, he will enter into the tent. That's why the four lepers were saying, what we are doing now is wrong. Because today is the day of good news. If we are silent in the morning, we will be executed, we will be punished. So let us communicate this good news to the husband and household. That's the meaning we have. So my dear brothers and sisters, what is the good news for us? In order to find out the good news for us, we have to move to the New Testament. Uh, please open uh, Gospel of St. Luke chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, 
who is Messiah, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brother and sister, this is the good news of the New Testament. And uh, we have to compare the good news of the Old Testament and good news of the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the you Lord. see, the good news of the Old Testament is the temporary relief from the slavery, the enemy taking. Whereas the good news of the New Testament, that's a permanent freedom from the bondage of Satan. The second comparison, those who experience the good news in the Old Testament remain there doing nothing. Whereas what was done by the, uh, the shepherds, they went and saw and they experienced the good news and they conveyed this good news to the old, uh, their fellow shepherds. And third comparison, the good news of the Old Testament was meant only for the chosen people, that is Israel's. Whereas the good news of the New Testament went for the whole people of God, for all nation of God, that's the Jesus is the Messiah. Praise the Lord. Praise there the Lord. is no other name given for salvation other than the name Jesus. That's the good news of the New Testament. And uh, my dear brothers and sisters, we are called to proclaim and announce this good news to everyone. That's our duty. You see, people are today, the people are in starvation. What is their starvation? That we can read from book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11. The time has surely come, says the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah, this scarcity is neither for bread nor for water, for the scarcity of the bread of God. People are running and here and there, to and fro. It is only because of the lack of the word of God. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God. Be courageous enough to convey this good news. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is our duty. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Please be stand up. Close your eyes. Just a moment. Pray to God. Lord, give me a special grace to announce this good news to the whole world. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise our hands towards the Eucharistic Lord and praise our God with a louder voice. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, anoint us. Holy Spirit, touch us. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heal us, O Lord. Heal us, O Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus, when we stand before you, we offer ourselves to you in front of you. Lord Jesus, my heart is a wounded heart. I need healing. Lord Jesus, all the bitter experience of my past life made me a person of uncontrolled anger, jealous, hurt, and lust. Lord Jesus, I can't love myself. My, my personality is a wounded personality. Jesus, only you can love me. I am revealing before you as I am. Lord Jesus, come and touch me. Heal me, Jesus.
just kneel down before your Christian Lord to receive the benediction. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. 